If you don't have any seed starting mix, no worries. You can start seedlings, germinate seedlings, without any soil whatsoever. I'm trying to get the camera so you guys can see it in the light. We have cantaloupe, watermelons, cucumbers, and they've already germinated in five days with no soil. Wanna see how to do it? Here we go. What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Hey, my waiver backers. <laughs> Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. It greatly helps the channel. Also, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not the two middle backers. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I am so ready to show you how you can germinate seeds indoors or outside without using any seed starting mix and you will know exactly what seeds of yours are are valuable are pliable liable no, not liable pliable are are they they gonna grow y'all we ain't never went to the terminology school we ain't got no money for terminology school <laughs> we just have fun in our garden you guys thank you so much for being here for supporting the channel if i can't answer a question here head on over to my facebook group that group is called gardening with skinny boy randy where beginners and experts are welcome as well those are some question answering people if i can't answer a question here head on over there because somebody's going through what you're going through and if nobody told you they love you today Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Okay, okay. Also, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, or you can just Google Skinny Boy Randy, and it'll bring up all my different social media. Don't forget to check out Virginia Homegrown. We got an episode coming up this Tuesday, the last Tuesday of every month through October. Check it out, 8 p.m. on uh, BPM and PBS Local, and you can catch it live online on the Facebook group, Virginia Homegrown, and you can go to their channel, Virginia Homegrown and catch it there as well so there's no excuse you guys can't catch it okay and i'll be on there as well well i'm doing their little social media bites and then i'll be in the studio later on in the season so yes you guys let's just dive right into this video because there's a lot of construction going on around here not a lot but i think somebody's doing a special project so i want to go ahead and get this video in i'm going to show you how i germinated all of these seeds in five days well today makes day number five as you can see from my label, I started these sugar baby watermelons and uh, some cantaloupe and cucumbers on April 14th. Today is the 19th. And if you can see through this bag, I'm not sure if you can see through it, you'll see the roots and everything, but I'm gonna show you all that. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. Yeah, the roots have already come out. These are ready to go into a container and we're just gonna leave them in a container until our soil completely warms up at night. So let me just show you how I do it. All right, let's go. Okay, you guys, from start to finish, let's go ahead and roll with it. All you're gonna need is a little container of water or a spray bottle with regular water. Just regular water and a little container, whatever you have. You're gonna need some paper towels or your leftover napkins from your restaurants or whatever you have, make it work. Then you're gonna need whatever seeds you wanna germinate. And this is an awesome way to start your seeds without having to do a whole bunch of seed starting trays. Okay, and then we have a Ziploc bag. If you don't have a Ziploc bag, well, this is great value. It ain't Ziploc. Okay. <laughs> you take what you got to make it work. Or you can use a regular store-bought bag. And from me to you, have a nice day. Okay. <laughs> and that's all you need. 
Now, when it's time to transplant them, you can either use your leftover bonnet cups, you can use styrofoam cups, and we're gonna show you how to do that as well. Then I have a marker for labeling. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and label my Ziploc bag, okay? I'm on the deck, y'all, trying to hurry up and do this before they start that construction back up. I'm gonna hit, go ahead and label my Ziploc bag. Get it on the right side. Today's date is April the 19th, 23, okay? And I'm just gonna do one set of things for you guys, but I'll put some more in there later. So we're gonna do sugar babies. Watermelon. And I'm starting these now because I want to have my starters to put in the ground when I'm very, very sure that the ground is warm enough. Yes, you guys. So start off with your labeling. You guys know I'm going out of town in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're starting off the traveling season, you guys. Trying to live my best life like it's golden. You only get one go around. So yeah, we'll be going to the Bahamas. We're leaving here on Friday evening. Okay, now I also have over there some black cow manure and some basic flower and vegetable gardening soil and my old potting, uh, I mean, uh, container soil mix over there that I'm just gonna mix it all together. So the first thing you wanna do is get your little container of water, like so, and put your paper towel, napkin, or whatever you're gonna use. I'm just gonna use this since it's clear not really clear but yeah and you don't need the whole thing you can just rip it in half you guys we don't do pretty we do productive okay just a little piece like that depending on how many seeds you're going to plant okay and then you just want to dip it into the water just like so just like so now what i'm going to do is take my soaked paper towel napkin whatever you're going to use I'm gonna put down some sugar baby watermelon seeds. Hope I'm capturing this. Okay. Just put down however many uh, plants you think you're gonna grow and always add a few extras just in case they don't germinate. Uh, that's way more than enough. And then you just put them on the paper towel or the napkin or whatever you're using. Just spread them out like so mm -hmm. I like to put them all on one side so I can fold a napkin see how I did that just put them all on one side and then fold your napkin over just like that over top of your seeds then I take my finger and I sprinkle a little water where there are some dry spots mm -hmm. just like that and now what I'm going to do is take the Ziploc bag that we labeled, open it up, take my seedlings and put right inside. Okay, try to get them as flat as possible. It doesn't have to be pretty, just productive. That's all you do. And then I seal it all the way, almost, not all the way, but then I leave a little air pocket right over here. I just leave a little air pocket just so it gets a little air then I just fold it up you can sit it on a heat mat you can sit it on a towel over top of a vent in your home just try to keep them warm and then in a few days you're gonna have this now I started these on the 14th of April so it's only been five days y'all so let's see what we got Now these are the sugar babies. And you just gently open up your paper towel because you don't want to damage any of the possible roots that have formed. Oh wow, there we go. There you have it. So you got in five days, in five days,
I know the camera's in the way. Let me zoom in so I don't have to get the shade from the camera. There you go, you guys. Five days. Five days worth of growth. And these are sugar baby watermelons that have germinated. Y'all see it? I'm putting in the palm of my hand. They've germinated in five days. So you know these seeds are viable. That is the word I was looking for, viable. <laughs> that means they're usable. So let's check on the cucumbers and the cantaloupe. Okay? So I'm just going to fold this up. You want to keep them warm and keep them moist. All right. I think this is another sugar baby I believe this is another sugar baby yep look you guys you see that now see this one did not germinate at all sometimes you get bad seeds sometimes it's just not in the cards and then again sometimes they germinate later than others look at this one it has a great root system on it am I getting this y'all see that just be very careful with your seedlings. Okay, let me go back out. Well, let me go ahead and zoom in so y'all can see it. So those are the second sugar babies. I'm gonna fold them back up. Keep them nice and cool. I mean, uh, nice and moist. Now we have cucumbers. Let's see what they did in five days. Well, these are coming through the napkin. Can y'all see that? They're already coming through the napkin. The roots have broken through. So let's just gently flip this over. And since the roots are coming through the napkin, I want to be super duper careful. And that did not work. <laughs> yeah, these are vigorous. These are very vigorous. Look at that root system. Very vigorous growth. And these are cucumbers. All right. So you get the idea of how to start your paper towel germination. Now let's just look at the uh, cantaloupe. Yeah, you guys, it's that time of year. It's It'll be May 1st next week. And I'm here in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia, so I'm trying to have these things ready to go. Oh, wow, look at those. Let me pick one of them up. Oh, they have a great root system. Y'all see that? Yeah, these are my cantaloupe. Yep. So now what we're going to do is plan it up. All right, be right back. Okay, you guys, so we're just gonna use one of our old container cups, fill it up with a soil mixture, which is gardening soil, a little black cow, and some old leftover container soil. Just give it a little pressing, like so. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take our seeds, our germinated seeds at that. Then I'm just gonna use the same pen that I used to make my labels. I'm going to make a hole directly in the center, just going around like so. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my seedling with all its beautiful roots. And I'm going to put the roots down in the bottom, just like so. Just drop it down in there. And it's going to push its way up to the top. Okay? Cover it up a little bit. Just a little tapping. Put the label on it. Cantaloupe. And there you have it. Give it a little watering. And you've just germinated your seeds without any seed starting mix, without any soil. And now you're going to grow them into actual fruits and vegetables so there you go you guys just a little bit of paper towels seeds and a little moisture 
and a Ziploc bag and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Until next time, live, love, laugh, gross stuff and eat it. You guys are the best. I love you.